Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel today, Dylan's Vlog. Today I'm going to be doing a review after we have set up the Coleman Salyu Spa Ibiza from Sam's Club. So this is on sale right now, so we picked it up for I think like $339. It's tax season, baby. You got to treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. What we got was a hot tub. Me and Sarah have been talking about it for a long time and we decided to go with this one. We went with it, number one, for the price, and number two, because we had a friend who bought it and told us they highly recommended us to buy it for the price, so we bought it. We live in Ohio, so it is February 26th in Ohio, so last night, me and Sarah gave this thing its first, uh, first try out with us. So as you can see, it's a square, it's a pretty good shape. It's like six feet by six feet. It's um, real easy to set up, I would have to say. So when you open the box originally, there's only three boxes. There's a box with this in it, which is the pump and the heat and everything all in this one control unit. And uh, it's already hooked up to everything. It's not hooked up to this obviously, but it has all the hookups ready to go. The other box has um the hot tub in it which i'll open it here and show you guys what's going on in there it's really hot in there right now i think 102 maybe 100 degrees in there um we left it on last night to keep it warm for today in case we feel like getting in it later today it felt really good we liked it so real easy setup so the first thing you do when you get it out of the box is uh you pull um it has like this black hose that connects to this air this pump right here you uh, hook it up to this and that's an inflator a hose for inflating it you put it right there inside of here blow that up well, by turning on this button which is the massage jet button um, one thing that i will say that was confusing at first was once you plug this in and use it to inflate you have to hold your finger over the power button for like three seconds to get it to come on and then once it's on it locks automatically after a couple minutes and you have to put your finger over this lock unlock button it doesn't really clearly say in the instructions that you have to do that but when you look at what each button does it tells you to do that <coughs> so first thing easy to set up absolutely the instruction manual is not great but it literally you can like figure it out you just after you use that to inflate that you inflate um this piece on the inside here this white piece that's up inside of this uh, lid that keeps it from on floating on top so your uh, cover doesn't get too weighed down with water and stuff if it rains when you're leaving it outside you inflate it after that you take that hose off of there set it aside for when you have to uh reflate it again and these literally all three these pipes just line right up um and you just hook those up and then you fill it up with water and turn it on and it's ready to roll so super easy i set it up in like i think it took like 10 minutes to blow it up and then with that's with the bottom and the cover and then it uh took about maybe it did take probably almost eight hours to fill it up i think but i really wasn't running uh, the hose on full steam in there uh because i was in the middle of doing a couple other projects as well uh, I really do like it. We tried it out last night. It felt great. It was like 24, 25 degrees here last night, Fahrenheit. We had the pool set or this spa set at 104. It only made it up to 102 at that temperature. It took, it does take a long time. You have to like preheat this thing like unbelievable. Like we started it on a day it was 50 degrees and it says in the manual that if you start it on a day where it's 50 degrees that it will take 32 hours to warm up and it absolutely does i mean it took every bit of 32 hours but at night it's getting like you know close to freezing out here so we weren't too mad we we got it set up we knew uh we got it on thursday and we knew hey saturday we're trying to be in that dude so we set it at 104 and let it go and that's because it doesn't heat up hotter for the higher temperature you set it at it only can heat at one rate so it just takes a longer time also one thing we made a mistake was we filled it way too high thinking higher the better you know what i mean like 
we we had it where it was all the way filled up to like this this right here where it actually has to be at least six inches under that because for one reason once two people get in it which i wouldn't i would say this is a more of a two or three people it's really two unless you want to be touching feet with everybody who's in there like me and my wife we have a a projector screen so we set up a projector last night and we got to sit in the hot tub and you know we had a little bit of fun and the screens playing we're watching movies it was awesome but uh, don't fill it up too much because if you the more you fill it up the longer it takes to heat up first off second off when two people get in it the water level raises quite dramatically because of the size of the thing and thirdly if you turn the jets on there is no adjuster on the jets it's either on or off and when these jets are on they are powerful and the water does splash probably six inches above where the level's at so we had a lot of uh originally when we got in it we turned the jets on we had water spilling over the side of the side that we have on the lower side um just because we didn't know that's just something you have to experience to figure out which so easily solved i didn't even have to get out of the hot tub to solve it um there's a little pipe that runs out of the bottom right there and on the inside look at these clips so these clips are childproof you have to squeeze the sides and push the top from the pop which is very good because we have babies um, inside you can't really see it but there's a drain plug down there that drain plug you pull it on the inside you unscrew that cap and it drains very quickly so i was able to pull the plug on the inside reach over the edge twist that and drain it down six inches pretty quick for us probably 10 minutes and uh we are back in action the what it does have it has two good cup holders here um you can see it's at 100 now so when it's red that's when the temperature is still heating uh when it turns green is when it's at full temp if i hold the lock unlock it unlocks i check the temperature it's set at 104 so it'll uh stop heat this is the heating button the air button for the jets which i'll go ahead and hit and show you guys so that's it rolling with the jets pretty impressive for an inflatable hot tub right um the one thing i do know that I, I i think i did see this in reviews too is that it says the jets pull the air from the outside into the pool so you have to realize we got in it had it set at one had it at 102 we hit the jets the temperature dropped probably two or three degrees within a couple minutes because it's pulling in tw if the weather outside is 20 degrees it's pulling in 20 degree air and blowing it through this water that's heated up so it is cooling it off and it it does get the steam rolling but overall i would highly recommend this for people who live somewhere that want a hot tub but don't want to spend you know five or six thousand dollars on a hot tub the other great thing about this is it plugs in just a regular outlet so has this um, gcfi plug-in on it we have it plugged into a 10 gauge extension cord and running all the way up to the house because yeah we we could have it up by the house we have places for it up there but we wanted it to be back here where we uh our pool's down right now because it's been winter time but we're going to be getting the pool back up i think maybe getting a bigger pool this year this is kind of our spa and relaxation station back here it's nice and private we got the woods so uh we wanted it back here either way we like to get away from the house every once in a while you know what i mean but overall coleman sally spa abiza for under $400, I'd recommend it. If it went up over $400, maybe look at your options and see what you got available. But overall, everyone knows Coleman brand. Everyone knows that they, what they've been doing, they've been doing it right for a long time, and that's why they're still in the game. And I think if you're looking into buying one of these from Sam's Club, you should totally do it. Thanks for watching. Um, stay with me in the videos. I'm trying to upload more subscribe and i will literally be so grateful because all i'm trying to do out here is post videos that help people and that people can watch and enjoy so thanks for watching like and subscribe dylan's vlog out